So recently I remembered I had a uh, Bluetooth OG2 adapter from a uh, previous car a few years back. I decided to give it a try on the um, LX570 here and download a couple apps to see what, uh, what I could get on the screen that's useful, not useful. Uh, there's tons of these adapters from different vendors. This is the one I have. It's from VPeak and it is model number uh, VP11. So the OBD2 connector is right up here. So I'm going to plug this guy in and then I'll show you what the app looks like. So I tried several different apps. The uh, one that so far I like the best, uh, it's a free app. It's called InfoCar-OBD2 ELM327 Car Scanner Diagnostics. Um, if you look at uh, the Google Play Store uh, through your uh, in dash uh, unit here you should be able to find it just search for info car and look for that title and that logo and you should be able to find it. there's a lot of other apps out there uh, torque is a popular one um, there's uh, ELM uh, apps that that, uh, that that are from all sorts of different vendors I tried about 15 or so of them this is the one I settled on I really like the uh, layout and it's uh, really useful the way it displays the data I'll show that here to you in a second so once you've got the adapter plugged into your OBD2 connector, you've got the app installed, go ahead and open the app. You'll see InfoCar come up, and you'll need to connect to your Bluetooth. Um, I had a little bit of trouble connecting to the Bluetooth on this one. What I had to do is turn off the Bluetooth on my phone uh, for the first time that I wanted to connect it. And later on, uh, once I restarted the car, I could uh, leave my Bluetooth on my phone on, and both of them worked at the same time. Uh, so you would normally come up to the setup screen and uh, put in your vehicle information and everything and uh, the settings, all of that. Uh, what I'm going to do here, since all of that's already set up, that I've done before, I'm going to hit connect, select OBD2, confirm, and it'll take a second and it should connect to my ECU. And once it does, you'll see that uh, little gray ECU icon there turn blue. There it is. It's connected. So you can go to your, a few different options here. Um, the useful ones that most people will, will use. Vehicle diagnostics. You can go in there and uh, run a scan. And if your car does have any codes, hit the diagnosis button. The monitoring button will just show you all the different outputs that you have right now with the car running. Um, you got your RPM, your MAF reading, throttle position sensor, uh, your engine load, all kinds of different stuff that uh, the OBD2 connector is able to read off of this particular vehicle. And uh, the useful one for me is dashboard. Um, I drive a lot, so I like to keep an eye on my uh, temperatures, battery voltage, and, and mainly my uh, my miles per gallon. Uh, I set these to show intake air temperature and throttle position sensor, the coolant temperature, battery voltage. Uh, graphs the RPM for you down there. You can see if I hit the gas a little bit, it goes up, goes back down. It's real time. And then this one I really like um, keeps track of your instant fuel mileage. Um, I plugged in $2.65 for my fuel cost. It uh, keeps track of how much fuel I'm using and what the approximate cost is of that fuel. Uh, total gallons for this particular trip. I just started the car, so we really haven't had um, any sort of driving yet. And then average gas mileage for this whole trip. Uh, fuel level, it won't read off of this particular car. Maybe yours will, or your Bluetooth adapter might be able to read that. Mine isn't reading it. And then uh, instantaneous gallons per hour. And then you can go to the next screen, just gives you a giant readout of the uh, miles per hour and the engine RPM and how far you've gone. The other one that's interesting is uh, driving record. It actually keeps track of all of your previous driving record, uh, as long as you set up a profile with your email or your Google account or whatnot and let it, uh, let it create a profile for you. So. I've only had it on here for a couple days, but as you can see, it uh, keeps track of all my different drives, how they all went, how much fuel I uh, spent, uh, on, how much money on fuel I spent, what the gas mileage was, etc. 
if I click on one of them, it actually tracks where my drive was. And at the bottom, shows you a fancy chart with a few different uh, metrics that it's reading. Speed, RPM, TPS, coolant temperature, etc. It's interesting. And then driving style, I guess this is more if you have um, uh, a need to monitor someone's driving style, maybe your kids or something along those lines. It monitors how uh, fast you accelerate off the line and, and how, uh, how much you're doing hard braking. And gives you a score based on that and tracks all of those things uh, separately. Um, the things it's tracking down here, it's hard to see with the camera out of focus, but uh, speeding, uh, rapid turns, rapid deceleration, and rapid acceleration, and uh, it scores your driving based on that. Pretty interesting. Haven't really driven enough to see what uh, what the graph data looks like over a long term, but uh, interesting nevertheless. Uh, if you do have a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter and uh, one of these Android head units for your vehicle, I would highly recommend this app and uh, give it a shot, seeing uh, how it works for you.